Hi, my name is Robin Symes. I'm here today to talk to you about tempo. I think this clip applies to all the ranges of golfers out there, from beginner players right through to professional players. Tempo is misunderstood, I believe. I see many players trying to swing the club slowly, working so hard and slowing their swing down, friends telling them they're swinging too fast. But the reality is, if you look at the best players in the world, or even elite amateur players, they don't swing the club slowly. They swing the club quickly. It's just understanding where to be quick in your swing and where to be slow. When I've studied PGA Tour players or elite amateurs, most of them swing from starting their backswing through to impact around about one second. Some look slower, Ernie Els looks slower because he's got long arms, it's like a big bicycle wheel, it looks like it's going slowly actually going quickly. A smaller player looks faster, but their tempos are the same. I'd almost go as far as saying 99% of top players' tempos are very, very similar. 80 players a little slower, maybe 1.2, 1.3, but still quick relative to the, the amateur players out there. So where should your swing be quick? Where should it be slow? This is what's misunderstood. I see in the move away, Many players out there trying to start the swing slowly. Huge mistake. This is where tension builds in the arms. The wrists get wooden, stiff. Often see the lady players starting slowly, very stiff, and then suddenly they collapse. They must to create some leverage to be able to create some speed. Maybe the player who most starts very slowly and then suddenly, with a, with a jerk or a sudden acceleration, trying to create their speed. Again, the wrong way around. What we see with top players is in the move away, the, the club head's actually moving quite quickly. Hands stay relaxed. Faster is consistent. You ever try drawing a straight line slowly? Ever try drawing a straight line quicker? The fast movement's always more repeatable. Same in the golf swing. Move away, the club head's moving with good speed, with good tempo. It's then in the transition things slow down. The good golf swing, we want time to move our weight to our left foot. We want time to, to separate our hips and our shoulders to create that, that energy, to create speed. You need time for that. So we, I see quite a fast movement in the move away of the club head. Then I see that everything slowing down a little. Time to move my weight to my left foot, separate. Then, in the downswing, it slowly builds up to maximum speed of the ball. If I've had to put this into words for you, what I like, it's more fast, slow, fast. Fast, slow, fast. Say, second maximum for a guy player, 1.2, 1.3 for the lady players. It shouldn't change what, whatever level of player you are. Don't, not, I, I don't want to hear people saying, well, that's for the professionals. It's not. It's for every player. Also, it's for every club. I've got an 8-iron here. But if this was a driver or a, a 5-wood, even hitting a sandwich approach shot, the tempo from start of swing back to impact should almost be exactly the same with every club in your bag. That's where these top players get consistency from. When I see slow, fast, different tempos with every shot, consistency is virtually impossible. So remember this today, tempo is not slow. It's fast at the start, you have a little time, a slowness in the transition, then fast again at impact. You'll find your ball striking will improve instantly with the golf swing you've got. You'll see on if you have a video you're seeing, you'll actually see that your positions will improve. Tempo creates a lot of good things in the golf swing. So yeah, hopefully you've, you've learned something today and yeah, go to work on this the next time you're on the driving range. Thank you for listening and uh, look forward to providing more information for you in the future.